Hello guys and gals, welcome back to another vlog, we're doing one at any time, here today, hope everyone's doing well, I'm doing alright, yeah, I'll be, I know it's been a while since I did a panel, I'm gonna get to it, you know, once I get some time, you know. Yeah, I found out what that friggin' the the place that used to be a movie rental shop. It's been it's been for rent and vacant for so long, and now there's a new shop there. And they got and it's a second chance store. That's one of the places where you, you don't know what you could get. You could find friggin' some really good items to flip and all that. Or if you like the item, just keep it. You know, for a good deal. You just. Most places can get a lot of good things. Got the camera just look like it was blurry. Yeah, kind yeah, of the best time to do a vlog too at night. No people out, you know. Don't gotta worry about the cam care and trying to get in my frame so they can say you that recorded me they want that too that's what they want right <laughs> at least at night time no matter what it was it's pretty much dead street yeah i haven't been up too much lately Finally starting to warm up a bit. It's cold tonight anyway, but it's definitely not even close to as bad as it was. Friggin' winter is horrible here. The downside of living here this far up north. Upside is you can get cheap weed, you can get weed for 30 bucks an ounce and everything here. Because it's in Quebec, uh, in, or just mainly on the reserve anyway, that they're allowed to have their own, anyone's allowed to have their own pot shops or sell booze and stuff. And that's why you can get better deals over there. In New Brunswick, the only person who's allowed to freaking have a pot dispensary in New Brunswick is and the NB Cannabis, which is the government. <laughs> no, it's kind of crappy. They got a complete monop they got complete monopoly over the freaking prices of weed in New Brunswick. Like literally it's around 200 and out. I think my, my dad said he freaking paid 70 and it was literally 77 grand. It was just literally 7 grams. 70. It's not too, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's only the one here or selling it for 50 and out. It's weird. It's probably because they have to compete with that, right? Because they're right across from the reserve where everyone's allowed to have a weed shop. It's just a bridge away. <laughs> so obviously no one's going to pay that price at NB Cannabis if it's right, located right next to that. That's why they got it $50, but I still wouldn't buy it there. This is probably crappy quality, first of all. A little bit, you know. <laughs> Dead the streets are. And it's only 12 at night, too. That's crazy. The streets become extremely dead at that time. 
the only spot that isn't dead is bars. It's the only spot that isn't dead at this time. But most people would rather that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, my dad says it's it's not too bad among where you're surrounded, but I feel like he's just, he's just trying to convince himself it's better. Because what I heard, it's not like that at all, and I've heard it from people living there. The complete opposite. That it's friggin' hellhole. There was even a uh, family member of mine who literally fucking moved. To Bathurst just to friggin' get away from who used to live in Moncton. <laughs> I'm, I've seen people move to move from Moncton because of how bad it's getting. Hopefully my dad will fucking decide to move away from that place, jeez. Because he's telling me it's not bad, you just gotta be aware of your surroundings like a big city, but... What I'm hearing from most people, it's not. <laughs> of other people. They're saying it's completely different. I heard some people move to Riverview. Some people have done that though. It's like out in the country and stuff. Actually, I think my aunt Pam actually lived in a review at one time. Yeah, it's a bit chilly. So. Actually, getting kind of cold. Not sure what temperature exactly it is. <sighs> yeah, so I'm probably going to end up going to that spot. I mean, what's the old movie store? It's now a second chance shop. The hours aren't really great. They're only open till like 4 o'clock every day. 4 p.m. they close, so they close pretty early. <coughs> but, hey, I'll go check it out still. I just gotta make sure I go there sometime before 4. I'll go check it out. Just, who knows when I can find, I can find some cool games, I can find some PS3 games, they're really cheap. They only have clothes and stuff like that. I'm not really gonna go there. Yeah, but all I see is clothes and anyway in the front window. But it, it could be there's probably there probably is games and other shit if you actually go inside. I haven't went inside yet because I just noticed that it was there when I was walking today. I didn't know that they had the, the shop already there. Huh. So I guess they all got it all set up, so I definitely will be hunting there for deals. It'd be cool if I could find some good PS3 games, but although highly unlikely, especially when a pawn shop. Well, I found some good games at the pawn shop, so you never know, right?
But I don't know, it just looks like it's a friggin' enclosed, mostly closed there. But, no, I'm gonna, I'll find out, right? <laughs> Let's see. But that's great, they never had one of these things in Camelton, man. One of those shops. Second chance store. But they had a, I think they had a Salvation Army one time at, in Camels, Camelton, but it, it went out of business and shut down. That was a long time ago, too. I think it was like probably when I was nine or eight years old. That was when they had the Salvation Army here. Now it's closed. It's gone now. Now they got a second chance shop. So that's cool. It's a shop where I've heard a lot of bargains happen. So that's a pretty that's a pretty good uh, replacement for the movie store. Yeah. You know, <laughs> not bad. Huh. I never thought anyone would even get a business like that friggin' movie store it's been vacant so so many years it's been vacant and empty for freaking years and years now probably like 10 you know, 10 more years at least 10 or more years it's been vacant at least since i was around nine or ten years old so quite surprising that they're building that. That's a good shop anyway that I can check out. Anyway guys and gals, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to wrap it up now. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, merch, and all that's in the description below. Until next time, it's Mental Couture and I appreciate it.